If you were to travel to the south coast of Western Australia near Bremer Bay, you'd come across a farm called Malamarup. The 1,000 hectare property was established by Ken Reddington and his wife Jan in the early 1970s. Setting the farm up from scratch while still in their early 20s was a real thrill for the young couple. In the subsequent 40 years, they've developed Malamarup into a productive farm focusing mainly on grazing, running cattle for vela production and sheep for prime lamb and the production of superfine merino wool. Today, they produce some of the finest quality wool, which is much in demand in the Chinese and Indian markets. As they developed the farm, Ken and Jen discovered that regular strong winds in the area were causing significant soil erosion. This meant they had to find a way to stabilize the topsoil. Ken and Jan eventually discovered a solution that stopped the wind erosion and produced production benefits as well. On the south coast here, we get out of season rain events. A lot of, probably 25-30% of our rain is in summer. We get uh, strong wind events too. We found that uh, sheep would camp in one area and water in another and it could blow and did blow. So the Kaikuyu was the one that we chose because it was virtually bulletproof. It um, stabilised the soil and it responded to those uh, summer rain events. We got good quality green feed off it and ended the problem of uh, blow. The suitability and many benefits from Kaikuyu have resulted in many positives for the livestock, production and the land. In the late summer and autumn, you wouldn't have anything else. I love Kaikuyu then, especially the way it responds to summer rain. If we get a thunderstorm, it becomes, it really bounces out of the ground. It becomes electric green. You'll have uh, an inch of kayak overnight virtually. It's amazing how it responds to summer rain. It's built for this country or this country is built for it. Now that we've got Kaikuyu planted, I guess the late summer autumn period is not as stressful as it used to be. You'd be on tender hooks wondering when the break of the season was coming and uh, would you lose your top cover, your feed before the break arrived? Would you have vulnerable paddocks? Would you have to lock the stock up and feed lot them at the moment? we know that we've got cover on the paddocks and we can push them pretty hard without risking wind blow. Although Kaikuyu was of great benefit to the farming system, Ken and Jan discovered some management issues they needed to address, particularly once the Kaikuyu had been down for some 20 years. We found after a period of time though, the longer the kike was down, the less uh, cattle feed we got off and it was more a sheep proposition than a cattle proposition. And uh, it, it, anywhere we'd worked it or tickled it or whatever, it really responded. And then my son had the brainwave of uh, let's do it by cropping canola. Use the crop as a, a soil aerator using the taproot, get the cash flow off it, control the kaikuyu, knock it, really knock it, and then you'll never lose it. It's bulletproof, you've got it forever. Uh, we started cropping into the Kaikuyu because uh, we could see our production levels were declining a little bit. The kayak had been down for probably 20 years and had become very dominant um, and had started to choke out certain species of annual pasture, uh, especially when we got false breaks, the clover would really struggle. And with cropping it, we just found that it aerated the soil a bit and the kayak, even though um, cropping it killed it, it came back stronger than ever uh, with more vigour and it provided another avenue of income. In, in a good season we can earn um, pretty good money out of growing canola. The use of Kaikuyu as a perennial pasture has been a great success for the Reddington's farming system but as with many areas of farming there's always room for diversification and change. Uh, in the future I plan to maybe try different perennials as well as kayak. Um, the kayak's been really good, but I think there's other perennials out there that could complement the system. Ken and Jan have been running Malamarup for most of their adult lives, and they're proud of the way the farm has evolved. 
Being farmers is something they love, and today they produce quality livestock, crops and super fine merino wool that is second to none. Ken knows that one day he'll have to sit back and let Paul take the reins, but right now he just enjoys getting out there and working the land with his son. It's uh, good to know that the farm's in better shape now than what it was before. Uh, my son and his wife are working with Jan and I and I know that uh, there's room for improvement but we get a real buzz out of farming the way we do, Paul and I, and I know that the farm's in good shape and it's ready for him to take to the next level. <laughs>